Hello, everybody, and welcome to Let's Try. My name is Retromation. This is Sulphur, an FPS dungeon extraction roguelike that I'm very excited to be checking out the demo for here today. Seems really neat, so in we're gonna go to see what it's all about. Pacific Drive. All right. <laughs> okay. I really like the visual style already. It's got kind of like a that poster board thing. You see how this is like always rotating to me? It's kind of neat in this environment. Before you say anything, I know you don't remember. Just listen. Look behind you, right? That fireball you saw enter the cave? That's the witch that burned down your church and everyone in it. I'm ready for one of the four obvious questions now. Who am I? You're the priest, the padre, and patron of that burning establishment behind you, and you might not remember, but it was a vengeful rage that had you end up in that tree. Who are you? I'm your conscience, the angel on your left shoulder, or a hallucination. Whatever fits to make you focus at the task at hand, it's important to us both. The only thing you need to know is that we've been friends for a long time. Where am I? You're standing outside of a cave. That cave leads to a portal that in turn takes you to a dimensional state called Sulphur. It's sort of the waiting room for the true afterlife. I'm sure you'd have another name for that concept, with your profession and all. But you'd be surprised as to its nature. Where am I going? The most important question. You're gonna follow that witch in here. There are places of pure natural energy that she will want to visit. We can only match her strength if we too utilize them. You might have noticed that death and time isn't really as rigid as most expect. There's ways to undo all this, and I will help you. Okay. All right, in we go. All right. Something tells me uh, no. Okay, I, I really, really want to jump in that pit. It feels very inviting. It's it's very me shaped. Can we? Ooh. Okay. It's extremely quiet in here. Okay. <gasps> okay. Uh, F to attack. Okay. I mean, I'm so in. Let me get up there. Hmm. A bucket. Okay. See, I, I, I really like that. It's kind of like, um, you know, like some old school, like, boomer shooter kind of stuff. But in a, um, like, a low-poly 3D environment, I think it actually looks really neat. And I feel like I haven't seen that done that much. It's like, the closest thing I can think of for that is, like, Slasher's Keep. Which is another game that I think looks really cool. Platforming? You alright up there, buddy? You doing Okay. Do we gotta... Let me guess. We are get... <laughs> it's a gun. Shoot the rope or we shoot the man? Okay. Yeah, don't go. Can we shoot the barrel? Don't want to waste the ammo, but I did need to know if we could shoot that stuff. Ah, there it is. Bring me closer so I can absorb some of its primordial essence. You don't need to use it to teleport home right now, as that would be a bit of a waste. What? How do I put this? Blood of the Mother, pure essence. Ah, yeah. It's extremely difficult to tame and need to be used incredibly intently to yield any wanted results. It's going to come in very handy, as I know how to wield it. Why? For one, I can use it to take us back to safety once I've charged myself with its powers, you know, in case things get hairy, or it would be advantageous to regroup. Once used up, the power would need to be refilled at one of these shrines. And for a second, it allows us to banish the witch's curse up to the point where the shrine leads us. 
letting us access new areas as well as eventually paving the way to redemption for your people. Banish the Witch's Curse up to that point where the shrine leads us. So is that saying it's going to like give us new paths in this, like the places earlier in the dungeon? Or, or what? The road out of the sulfur is long, but it's even longer if there's a mountain of evil slime in the way. Alright, let's go. That's good enough for me. I don't need any- I don't have any more questions about this. Are you- are you kidding me? This is perfectly understandable. Yep. Just a Tuesday. Hello. I do have to know. Okay. T to bring out the amulet? That's to go home, though? I filled to the brim and I could take us home if you please. Uh, so we could go back to the church. Where am I going next? Fine. Further down, so what will it be? I'm not gonna leave yet, you kidding me? I haven't even jumped in a pit yet. Or shot a guy. Oh, I can now shoot a guy? Okay. How many shots was that? Was that like five? Hello? One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Oh, what the hell? Oh my god. <laughs> okay. There's a very quiet beat drop. Oh. Jar of poison? Throwable. That, that font is so tiny, man. Uh, a mason jar that has been carefully filled with a number of negative... No, wait, negative. Nerve gas globules. Okay. So I can throw that with three. I do like the very tiny beat drop. The music and some of the visuals are giving me a little bit of um, sock pop. For those who are familiar. What do we got here? Uh, is this... Okay, well, hey, I can... I can fulfill my wishes of jumping into a pit because certainly this is a good pit, right? That looks like lava, but this is a good pit? Yes. Okay. It's a very quiet beat drop, too. It's like it's kind of nice. Is there like a... Nope. We cannot adjust the audio separately. Which is a bit of a shame. I wouldn't mind turning that up a bit. Whoop. I got ammo out of that? One, two... Wait, you're a different... You're a different kind of guy. I do want to know. Hey-oh! Okay, I don't want to go in a pit on accident is the, is the only issue. Alright, fine. I think we need to just start swinging. Yeah, that was not good. Okay. <laughs> That's wild. Alright, we got a bucket up there. I hear another I hear another guy. Do you have a weapon? Where are you going? Where's that guy going? Something about that bucket that's unsettling to me too. A throwing knife? Okay, we can... <laughs> I don't think it does anything, but I do like it. I keep on hearing very faint uh, buzzing as well. Oops. Great job. Well parkoured. I don't think there's anything else in here, though. <clears throat> Good to know. So I think there can be stuff in the barrels, yeah? Because like I did mention earlier, like I said, uh, extraction. Whoop, dungeon extraction. So like a, an extraction shooter, like a Tarkov or whatever the heck you want to fill in that blank with. I'm trying to conserve my ammo a little bit. So I'm trying to figure out the exact number of shots it takes to kill so we can finish them off with a melee for the last one. Thus possibly bumping... Ooh! I mean, I'm in. Stick. Oh, we have a stick grenade, too. There's, there's, like, faint whispers so quiet that I'm not even sure that you guys will even be able to hear it. That have me going a little bit mad. And I think that that's 100% 
100% intentional. But yeah, we'll want to watch our HP so we know when to teleport back. But I'm a little bit of a... Uh, push push your luck dummy. I, I really like to... I really like to push my luck. Looks like we only have the six shots in this gun. So I don't know how much we want to just like... Instantly use them. Oh, okay, hold on. So that, that guy does not take a whole lot. Jesus. Egg? Can I eat that? I ate the egg. Stick. What, crafting? Nothing compares to a really good stick. Okay. Oh, I could have cooked it. Can I cook the stick? Oops. Let me cook the stick. Let me cook. <laughs> Hold on, let him cook. Hmm. There's clearly a chest up there, but... Cryogenic grenade? <laughs> Alright, I really should probably use some of this stuff. It's just so... <laughs> okay, now this is... Okay, I was just curious. I wouldn't be surprised if we could cook the poison with something, though. Oh, okay. Well, we'll use that for somebody else. That guy only takes a couple, anyways. Oh, man. We just keep coming. One, two, three... Yeah, it's like, it's sometimes three, sometimes four. I think that that's what it is. I think it's variable damage. There could be headshots, but it's hard to tell. Their heads are so big, it's hard to tell where they stop and where they start. Okay. You. Oh! I found the pit. I found the pit. I wanted to lure him back here so bad. Come here, come here, come here, come here, come here, come here. Come here, friend. I want to use the barrel. I don't know if he's gonna... He's following me. What a champ! I saw him flash. He's still there. I saw him flash, so he got hit by that. I can't pick up the bow. The, I'm glad that the pit is not instant death. That helps a lot. Nothing else here? For real? For real? Okay. I wonder if I could push a barrel onto a man. Alright. Could easily be somebody around this corner. No, I just saw let's throw a stick grenade. That feels... Like a secret. Hold on. Let's clear out all this first. Egg. I guess I'll look for a cauldron. I'd imagine we can probably cook the egg. Oil of yin. Drag it onto a weapon with an empty enchantment slot. 100% more projectiles. Ooh. I don't have very much ammo in this. I'm probably running out of ammo of uh, the pistol as well. 18. We have 12? I mean, maybe it's not that bad. Well, this is about to rank up. Does this not have a, an empty... I guess it does not have an empty slot. Maybe we just don't have one yet. Father's shirt, armor plus one. Amulet. I could eat the egg or I could save. All right, let's use the shotgun. Lest I uh, die never using it. Is that a crack? No, not a cracked wall. <laughs> I 
<laughs> okay, it's pretty good. As it should be. Um, I don't know how much I care about going up there. It doesn't look like there even is anything. I'm risking my life for nothing? Oh, boy. Let's me cook my egg. You can't even cook the egg! Or used in cooking. Stick egg. What, do I need another egg? It says it can be used in cooking. So I guess we need something else. Alright, fine. Fine. I'll just eat it. Eat it now. Maybe we need to combine two eggs? Oh god, I did lose track of where we we're supposed to be here. Okay, that's definitely something. Well, it's definitely has the possibility of being something. But I do believe these are going to be randomly generated. Another cauldron. Another pit. Is nobody here? Okay. If you say so. Off I go. So we're on floor three or we're... I thought we were on... I thought we'd be on floor four. There's a bed here. What is... Okay. Rock. Throwable. If you put this... Okay. Between something and a hard place? Okay. I... My range is... It's not quite as big as you would think. I don't know about the uh, conserving ammo through that that method at this point. Feels like it is getting me hit more often. As a result. It's ranked up. Does it get an enchantment slot? It sure does. Oil of Yin. Okay, so twice as many projectile shot. I hope it does not eat up twice as much ammo. I don't like this corner, though. Got right, safe. Can you break that? Um, what? There we go. Rubber boot. Singular. Oh, okay, man. Let's hold on. Let's... I don't want to accidentally fall into a pit when I'm trying to run away from that. Come here. Cool. Hard hat. Now it feels like we're getting some stuff. Armor plus 5, explosion resistance plus 50. Electric resistance 25. Wait, we have two different... <laughs> we have two different shoe slots. We are really almost out of ammo of this thing. We're going to probably want to uh, get out soon. I do like how generous the jumping up is. If it looks like you're pretty close to something, it usually just gives it to you. It could be fall damage. We do need to be careful. Another jar of poison. For secret chest something? Or, I mean... Um... What in God's name has happened here? I love that I can just use this like normal too. Egg? Ammo. Yeah, let me just cook my eggs in there real quick. You there? 
You're, like, stuck behind the rocks. Come here. Come to me. You guys are just chilling? Egg. But, yeah, my guess right now is maybe, like, two eggs in a cauldron is a, is a heal. But I'm also, like, I'm thinking I might just end up leaving pretty soon. Oh, we got a split path. Is this our first actual split path decision here? Okay. Um. This is a corner. It's not actually a split path. Nothing? This is poison water. This is poison water? No, it's not poison water. I'm just wet. It's very green. It's extremely green. I just saw it. I, I looked at that already. I went up there to... I'm just making sure that I cleared everything in here. And that's the dead end path. Okay. We're getting pretty far down there at this point. I don't like this corner. Oh my lord. Is this not the room that I was already in? I think I did go backwards. Because there's a there's two paths. That one and this one. Gotcha. Wait, really? My directions. They're very sick. Okay, this room does... Not look that familiar, though. Okay. Okay, I just wanted to try him out. You might be able to shoot through the corpses where I can't see him, so I'm just going to chill for a sec. Come here. Playing too passive. It's an extraction shooter, dude. You play like a you play like a baby. That's what you do in these. Is somebody back up there? There's still somebody up there. He lit. Oh! What a legend. Goblin flesh. Can I eat goblin flesh? <laughs> Casper. The friendly ghost. Dark side resistance, frost resistance, armor four. Is there a red hoodie in here? Hello, hello. Goblin flesh bone. Mm. Just get everything all loaded up and ready. I hear you. Where are you? There you are. Oh, that, okay. I don't think, I don't have any, I do have a cryo grenade. I don't know if this will open this or not. Yeah. I didn't know if it was like an explosion and a frost bomb, but hey. So we can't, I guess I should have checked. Yeah. We specifically are going to need a bomb for that, it looks like. Cook some goblin flesh, maybe? With a bone? Bone broth? Stone? Oh, I just leave the stuff in there. I mean... Truthfully... Don't know how much I care about it. We've got an explosive barrel. Where? Okay. Come here. Okay, we got a lot of guys coming here. Mm. Mm -mm. Mm. 
Three shots left. Or not? Oh, we got some banner. ammo energy back. Oh. Cool. A done of murders. Back up to 30, thank God. We don't like throw away. No, we don't. Okay. Unused ammo. Okay, so there's the pit. Do a little looking around though. There's there's gotta be something else in here, right? This is a definitely like one of the biggest rooms. Hmm. Looks like there would be something up there, but I don't know if I can get there. Whispers? I think that's just in the song. Parkour off the cauldron? Can you? You can! There's just a guy there. Uh, I wanted to use one bullet to free him, but I'm not going to use a second. Sorry. Sorry, sir. All right, are we out of here, I think? I think we go. I'm hurting for HP. There is a very real point where we should be tapping out soon. To, like, not throw everything away. How much money do we have? Is there 145? That feels like something. Oh, special treasure. There's something. There's no way that's just free, right? I mean, I guess that's the beauty of random generation. Oh, <gasps> Arbiter 2. Okay, so now we're at the point where, like, maybe I should leave to make sure we keep this. It's a special shotgun? We die, it's gone. We go back, we get to keep it for the next mission. I've not been hit by an arrow yet, so I don't know how much damage they do. And that has me a wee bit concerned, of course. Oh. oh, Lord, have mercy. He's a tank god. He's an ammo sponge and a tank god. I'm getting backed up into the corner. How? Okay. Jesus. I'm out of ammo. I think we go. Oh, we got, <laughs> we got 30 ammo? Okay. I mean, a breastplate, though. 35 armor, movement speed down by 10%. I mean, we're, we're at a net neutral for movement speed. Hmm. Health is a bit lacking. I'm worried about the... Hi? What's up, Father? Need me to look at that piece? I think, some of... I, think I have some stuff to sell. Tell me about yourself. We're doing this again. Name's Ralph. He's a certified troublemaker. Unlicensed mechanic. How'd you end up at the church? I, what? You're not. Oh, long story. Ran with some bad people. Mostly fixing motorcycles. At a certain point, it ended up being... Not so much about motorcycles, if you know what I mean. I figure it's time to get out. Took sanctuary with you all. Living the simple life. Tinkering away. Gets me a hell of a lot better. Your service at the church is invaluable. Thanks, Pops. And are any any armor that needs fixing? Maybe do they? Do I? Not really. Can you you can't fix can you fix weapons? Looks like you can fix weapons. I think I'm fine though for now. It sounds like you're back at the home base as well, so like it's not that big of a deal. And I feel like we don't really need to sell here. If you really are back at home as well. Then there's not much of a... Oh, I do not like the flank. Let's clear out this first. Okay. Okay. 
That feels like it's just a... I mean, at best, he's a bullet sponge, you know? At absolute best. So I think we maybe tap out. We we go back, we save our, our garbage. Just go... Really far back here. Go, go. Fill to the brim. Take me home. We gotta be smart, right? Back we go. Oops. Alright, not a hallucination this time either. That amulet sure is a blessing. I remember. Oh, it's empty now. Gotta fill that sucker up again. Uh, is there a way except shrines? Sure, there's several ways. Charges can be found. The bot, as well as refill the shrines, can also be partially refilled. So beware that you might have a bit of juice in there at certain points, but not enough to teleport. Lightsful, can you refill it? I would, but my spoken habit is burdened in my economy bit, so it costs you a thousand coins. I'm sure you'd understand. Uh, get help, old man. Wait, go, you come, come back here. Uh, what can I do here? You can bury your stuff at Ralphie's outside the church. Brilliant mechanic, that one. You can store items, money, and ammo, stash, chests. They're all linked up. If the others weren't lost to somewhere out there, there'd be plenty more to do. Items to buy, etc. You can always go back if any area you've previously been. Just follow the paths. Anything else? Who are you? I'm only known as the Gravedigger. Interestingly enough, I was mute back in the real world, did what the name suggests, with three Gs, and kept my mouth shut. <laughs> Eh, yeah, kind of missing those silent days as people usually expect me to answer their dumb questions now. <laughs> Anything else? No. Hello. So you're back here. Okay, so where do I store my stuff? Hello. Okay. Interesting. Interesting that. A place to cook. We can store stuff here. Cool. Okay, so yeah, we could be like, alright, if I go in and I lose that stuff, I could at least come back and get the Moss Man. Uh, like, do I need these rocks and bones and stuff? I mean, I would maybe take in the Goblin Fresh in case I could, like, cook with it. But, like, you know, this way we would be, we can deposit all of our money as well. So now if we went in and we lost, we would at least not be out everything. We're just out whatever we, uh, we bring. Church collection was empty. Oh, hi. Who are you? Oh. Welcome to Stiff Legs. What can I do for you, Padre? Got something for me or the Brad's new hall? Uh, sure am. Ooh, 800 bucks. Oh, it doesn't... I wish... If it was, if it's all connected anyways, I wish that the uh, money would be pulled from the stash as well. At least when you're in camp. A bunch of ammo could be worth buying. A hundred ammo. Wait, no. How much ammo is it? It doesn't say. Porridge. Ooh. Like, that could be really worth it. Improvised barrel extension. Interesting. So there's the attachment. There's an attachment, and then there's enchantment. Are they... Do they take up the same amount of slots? Because it says enchantment. Attachment. I don't know. Drag to an item to repair it. A thousand bucks. This stuff is wild. Repair an item with 50 durability. One health over one second. <laughs> I'm sure that you can use this with something else, like with an egg or something, to make it, um, you know, restore more. There's a storage. Okay, well, that's it. That's light. Like, at least, that's nice. That's nice at the very least. So we could do that and be like, hey, yeah, give me some, give me a porridge because that would maybe help me like get in the, uh, get in deeper. Uh, hello. Oh. Greetings, father. I want to mix the magics. Uh, what do enchantments do? Well, I guess I know what they do. Stage one. Stage two are combined one in scrolls that are extra powerful. You can only hold one enchantment and it requires an empty rank slot. Oh, they can only have one. Oh. Okay. So the, they can only have one, but there's two slots, which means the other slots are probably for the attachments, is my educated guess right now. Bigger bullet oil. 
25% more damage, but more bullet drop. Dang, this was a... The oil of yin was an 800 gold find. RPM up 25. Uh, oh, wow. The Goblin Flesh actually sells for a lot. So maybe we should just sell this stuff. What does this stuff sell for? Same with the hoodie. What, what, what do they sell for? Because maybe, maybe I'm willing. 85, 14. Sure. What good's the money, for, you know, if you're not taking it with? Don't worry about it. I also oh. want to know the final thing. What is the black stuff around the corner of your mouth? Oh. It's nothing. It's clearly something. Oh. All right, it's the ink. It holds pretty addictive properties. Oh. I was clean for the longest time, but when I started crafting again, I sort of slipped back into it. Sorry for putting you up. To <laughs> hit me up with some of that. Oh. <laughs> I don't think so. Too much riding on you to not to get you hooked on this garbage. So then what do we do? Oh. And there's nothing valuable down this path. Perhaps you want to mix some magic instead. Uh, no. <laughs> oh! Sorry. I was trying to click out of the menu. Interesting. All right. Uh, this is very, very neat. I think I'm going to call it there for right now. Uh, but I really, really like this. When this is out... If you guys would be interested in more, do let me know in the form of a comment down below. I could definitely be convinced to check this out when there's uh, there's more to it. Hello, hello. Uh, but hey, that's that. Go check it out. Link in the top description if you want to check out the demo for yourself. My name is Retromation. I cover indie games every single day with an extra specialty in roguelikes and roguelites. If that is something you are into, this is a channel that you should be subscribed to. Thank you for watching. Thank you, thank you. And I will see you next time. Bye-bye.